Hello and welcome to the Sega GT bonus video. In this video, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to unlock an extra car from what happens after you per at least purchased or owned every single car in the game. Now, it, now the way to know about how the cars you've owned is any car you go to in the car file screen, if it has a key, it means you've at least owned that car at some point, or purchased it. You don't have to keep owning the car in order for the key to still be there. Once the game has detected that you've either bought or owned the car, that key stays there forever. It does not go away. Now, I was told from an old guide or something that if you get every single vehicle, all the keys, every one of them is filled, you get a bonus vehicle for doing so. But I've never found enough proof to really back this claim up. So, I decided to go ahead and make a video about it just to see if there really is any truth to it. And if there is, then, and if you're seeing this video, then that there is uh, evidence that there, this, this can, in fact, or this can, in fact, that this is, in fact, a reputable, reputable claim. So, I'll just go through a rundown. As you see, I've got all the keys for every E-Class vehicle listed there so far. I've got all the keys listed for every B-Class. I've got all the keys listed for A-Class. And I have almost every key now for the SA-Class. The only I've purposely left out one vehicle because I'm going to be using that as the, the vehicle to test out this, um... To test out this, uh... If this method in fact does get a bon give you a bonus vehicle. So with that I'm gonna get a this uh, here Super RZ Twin Turbo. Get into that. And there it is! There is the there is the reputable proof. Once you get every single vehicle in the game, you get a apparently it says it's a works car. I wouldn't call that a works car. I definitely would not call that a works vehicle. That is all that you get for putting all of that work into this. You get an E-Class Mitsubishi Mini Cab Truck. Yes. All, all the money you have to spend, all the things you have to do to get all the vehicles, and you just get an E-Class Mitsubishi Truck. It's, um... It's interesting, to say the least. But hey, we got the vehicle. And you can see it's all it's definitely not a works vehicle because you saw there that for the E-Class it shows the uh, green symbol. But that is how you get the minicab. So if you've been curious on how to get the vehicle, you might have seen a couple videos on it, but you, you wanted to know how you get it. Uh, as it turns out, all you have to do is get a key on every single vehicle in the game, which means... Um, unlocking all the vehicles through playing through the game and then buying all the like the remaining vehicles and whatnot. And it even shows you the key there too, by the way, to show that you get the minicab. I don't know why they decided to make this like a, a bonus vehicle that you get it through this way. I guess it's just a, a way of like rewarding the player for getting everything there. But that's how you get the minicab. So, if you've been wondering on how to get this vehicle, now you know. So, I'm going to just give you the spec sheet real quick. Yeah. <laughs> it's, this thing only has 48 horsepower, so I think the lowest horsepower uh, input for any of the vehicle, any vehicle in the game, I believe, so. Hooray! Slowest vehicle in the game, stock-wise, I guess. Anyways, that's going to do it for this bonus video. Thank you for watching.